channel. I am so far behind on pretty much everything that needs to be done around here. I'm even behind on posting content. The summer has gotten away from me completely. The garden has got away from me completely. So many things have changed, even just in the last few weeks. But the main thing that needs to be done today is I really need to dig up my potatoes. I am insanely overdue on harvesting my potatoes. I should have done this, oh gosh, probably a month ago or so, but the entire summer has gotten away from me. As you can see, all of my potato plants have died, so the tops are completely gone for the most part, and I really should have dug these up long, long before that happened, but it is what it is now, and I really need to get going on that today. I have planted three different varieties of potatoes in here, a Yukon Gold, a white potato, and a purple potato. They have been in the ground so much longer than they should be that the earth is literally expelling potatoes and some of them are just sitting on top of the dirt, which is really just reinforcing how far behind I am on this. On that note, it is time to start digging up the potatoes. So you can see here, this is the top of my potato plant. Now, you are supposed to wait until your potato plants, like the foliage part, dies and wait, you know, around two weeks or so before you start harvesting the potatoes. The thing is, these have been like this for, oh gosh, I would say probably like close to four weeks now. That is how far behind I am. So I'm not sure really what my potatoes are going to look like down here. I don't really know what the difference is between leaving them for two weeks to four weeks or however long it's been, but we are about to find out. So let's see what the first plant looks like. So this is a purple one. You can see by the bottom of the stem here, it's purple. And let's just see what we got. Here's a couple little purple ones. So they're actually not very big, these ones. They're really small. There's a good size one. There's another little one. That seems like it's about it for this plant. There's not very many, but I know the kids have already pulled a couple purple potatoes off this spot right here. I sent them down the other night to grab a couple of potatoes for dinner and they came back with purple ones. So I'm assuming they pulled them right out of here. So this is actually not too bad. They're just kind of small. There's actually a couple decent sized ones I see just sitting here on the edge of the ground. That's a pretty good sized one. This one's a little small, but Something's eaten the inside of that one. Ooh, here's a good one. That's a great looking potato. As I was walking by, I saw this nice one just sitting on the edge of the dirt. This is a great looking potato too. Let's see what else we got. This one's been chewed apart too. Some big ones 
and some small ones. So the first row is done and I've got a good layer of potatoes in my crate. This looks great. these little things. The soil here looks so good. This is going to be great for growing in next season. A lot of compost and a lot of, oh, another potato. A lot of soil and a lot of stuff was added to this area. So it's going to be really good soil for growing in next year. These are some good ones. I think this might be the nicest one yet. You also want to be careful too when you're pulling the tomatoes out if you're using a shovel not to hit the tomato and puncture it not the tomato not to hit the potato and puncture it because once you start breaking the skin you're exposing the inside of the flesh to the air and with that comes the risk of introducing bacteria into here and then it can rot and go bad and all that kind of stuff so you want to make sure that you keep the potato whole you don't puncture the skin they also need to cure so you do need the skin on them for them to cure and the reason we're curing them is so that they last throughout the winter. Normally I wouldn't let my potatoes go this long, but like I said, this summer just completely got away from me. The whole garden got away from me. The garden was producing so well this season that I really couldn't even keep up. I've already pulled all my tomatoes, which I did not film, but I don't even know how many pounds of tomatoes I got. I know that I have 20 liters of finished crushed tomatoes. Plus we ate countless raw tomatoes. The corn's already dying behind me, like you can see. We pulled corn off there. Looks like we're on to the white ones now. I think we have a winner on Biggest Potato so far. These look awesome, look how big they are. I'm about halfway done and I've got one whole crate pretty much here of these beautiful things and purple potatoes. These look awesome, they're huge. So I'm looking forward to see what the other half of the garden has for us. Even if I can get one more crate, two full crates of potatoes is more than enough for the winter. And I mean, these things are ridiculous. They're huge. And if I let a couple of these grow eyes on them, I could get multiple starts off this one potato. So I might do that. I might not. This is a nice looking potato, so I kind of want to eat it. So I don't know. We'll see. Oh, this is a great potato, but something is definitely eating the other side of it. That's too bad.
as far as harvest goes. There's definitely going to be more than enough potatoes for us. And it's looking like the white potatoes did the best so far as far as size goes. The purple potatoes were definitely the smallest and I got the least amount of harvest off them. But the purple potatoes were more of just a nostalgic thing to plant. There was really no other reason to plant the purple potato. White potatoes are what we eat the most of and that's what I have the most of, so that's gonna be great for us. Maybe I won't plant the purple potatoes again next year. I'm not really sure. I'll definitely be planting the white ones and the Yukon Gold though because they're looking really great. Only a couple more to go. that. And this is the very last one. There's the seed potato, what's left of it. good sized potatoes in there. Oh, there's a really good one. And I think that might be it. Yep, I think that's it. Okay, here's what I got. Two full crates of potatoes. I'm very happy with this. This probably doesn't seem like a lot for most people who grow potatoes, but for me, this is enough. This will definitely get us through the winter. I'm really happy with these potatoes. Like some of them are huge. Some of them not so much, but I would say the majority of them are a really good size. Like these are gonna be great. So I'm really looking forward to being able to eat these. Oh. That one's got a hole in it. We don't want that. I'm really looking forward to being able to eat these. One of my favorite ways to eat potatoes from the garden, this might sound so silly because you would think it would be like a baked potato or roasted or something, but I really like potato and sausage soup and I find the flavor is 15 on 10 when you use potatoes from the garden. Potato and sausage soup is great regardless. But with store-bought potatoes, it just does not have the same flavor. And that's pretty much true with anything that comes from the store versus what you grow in the garden. It's always going to taste better. But potato sausage soup is one of my favorite things to make with potatoes from the garden. This is great. Now that all the potatoes are dug up, I'm going to take you around real quick and just show you a couple more things. And then that's going to wrap up today. I have so many more things to get to though. So there will be no shortage of content coming your way. But let's go have a look around the garden as you can see here this is my herbs and it is completely out of control i have so many herbs here i've harvested this multiple times this year already i've made dried herbs already for the winter plus i've used an abundance of herbs fresh i made salsa the other day and used a ton of parsley i've used rosemary for chicken oregano every literally all of it i've used it all the sage I'm looking forward to using. I'm gonna make a sage soap, which will be available on the website later on in the fall. And then I also got a recommendation from somebody in the comments to do a crispy sage butter sauce on like a ravioli pasta kind of thing. So I definitely wanna try that. But as you can see, this has gotten absolutely out of control and I really need to do something with it. But the point is herbs are not done yet, which is what I was really trying to get across here. Herbs are not done. I may or may not dig up the rosemary and put it in pots and bring it inside. I'm not really sure yet, but for now, I just wanted to show you that the herbs are doing awesome. The other thing I wanted to show you is how big my sunflowers got. This is nuts. They're huge. They're so big. So for anyone that watched the video when I planted all this stuff in the springtime, all I did was clear a spot in the dirt. I threw a handful of seeds down. I threw the dirt over top. I didn't even water it. 
The only water it got was from the rain and they're nuts. They're huge. Some of the heads on them are probably like, I don't know, 12 inches in diameter, 10 inches at least. So I'll be harvesting some of the tops of these and I'll be drying out the seeds and using them to plant next season. You can see some of these, they're just insane. They're huge. So I'm really happy with how the sunflowers turned out. The bees were really happy with how the sunflowers turned out. I saw some bees on here today, actually, even though there's really not too much left of them. Overall, very impressed with how the sunflowers turned out. This is the main garden here. And as you can see, it is pretty much dead. I really need to take this down. I just have not made the time to do so. I got so much out of the garden this year. I think the only thing that's left in here is my Brussels sprouts. I've got an eggplant here and there. I've got some celery and a couple cabbages. Everything else has been harvested already and is dead. So probably in the next week or two weeks when I make some time, I will be ripping everything out of this garden. The corn is done. The herbs are still growing. The strawberries were done long ago. The sunflowers are starting to die off. This part has all died off. The garlic's been harvested. The, the potatoes have been harvested. And that is pretty much wrapping up gardening season this year. This was a short video, but that's all I had planned for today was to pull the potatoes and that is done. And on that note, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the website, www.living-different.com. You can check out all my all natural products there soaps, lip balm, laundry soap, dish soap, all kinds of other things. You can also follow me on Instagram at underscore living different and you can stay up to date on what I'm doing every day. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss another video from me and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.